Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pav Music Production. Most of you know me as Pav Beats. Um, today, I will be looking at something called M Auto Pan. It's really cool. It's a plugin, a VST plugin that you guys can use for free. And I've come across using it really well with hi hats. You can use it for melodies and stuff, but I've kind of seemed to use it with hi hats, and it's a really cool plugin. So, if you do want to know how to uh, install this plugin, the link to the installation video is below in the description if you want to know how to install it and stuff. Also, the download link is below, like the first link at the top you see. Um, you know, you can click on the page, download the, the plugin. It comes with loads of different, you know, there's like 50 different free um, plugins in this one download, and this is one of them. So it's like all part of one installation, like M Auto plugin, M, M, you know, M auto pan m auto reverb and all this but we're going to be looking at m auto pan today the vst and it's really really cool the way you can use it to pan the hi-hats gives you this really versatile kind of settings you guys can use to pan the hi-hats from the left to the right and using these different kind of sync beat effects uh, you know like um like half step or um quarter beat you know the way you just sync it in kind of gives you this different kind of hi-hat panning kind of effect it's really cool so um i'm just going to give this out to you it's quite a nice plugin to use just a little tip if you know if 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 you want if you're quite lazy and you're panning it all one by one and you've got loads of hi-hats just use the auto pan does the thing for you brilliant can't complain and it sounds awesome so i've just you know opened it up quickly for you so that's the m auto plugin the auto pan sorry and it's uh, by Melder Productions, the VST plugin. Really, really cool plugin. I don't know why I was going to say by Output VST. Oop. <laughs> I've been too hooked on that. It's a really, really cool plugin as well. But this is by Melder Productions. Really cool VST. So I think we should just dive straight in and look at this plugin on how to actually set up these hi hats and stuff and how to use this um, auto pan for the hi hats in you know music production to give us that kind of cool feeling. So let's have a look and go straight into it. All right, guys. So let's open up this M Auto Pan. So you know you've installed the plugin. Click on M Auto Pan, and this is what you get. Now, the reason I say you should really use this in hi hats, I'm going to show you the reason why right away. So you know you load the hi hats into the actual channel mix. Here we go. So we load the hi hats up. Let's say we go for a simple, you know, pretty simple hi-hat. You know, we're not overdoing anything. And so we add that to channel effect number one. Now, straight away, you can see that changes. Now, on the right here, you just want to leave that as it is. So if you mess it up, you know, so let's right click on it reset it okay now let's play that now look the right changes the actual the um, Hertz just wanna right click on it leave that at 4 Hertz 4.0 that's perfectly fine okay now we can change the way this actually works by clicking on presets and selecting different you know different presets that it comes with Straight away, we are spicing up the hi hats and making them sound a bit different than what they were. Now, I'm gonna, you know, run through some of these. Now, once you let's say we, got, we click on the suitcase one, we take the steps and put them up to 100%. Okay, we can then kind of like fill them all in so we can kind of get the feel of the hi-hats and what we're doing and then we can start messing around with the shape so we can you know click on edit and we can change the shape of things how we want the hi-hats to go left right so panning them now because obviously we just selected this kind of shape so let's say we wanted this to be smooth, then maybe jagged, you know. But throughout the most pannings, 
usually it's left, right, left, right like that. Okay, so you've got the left. Obviously, you don't have to go all the way. You can go halfway. Then halfway here. Pretty cool effect. Or you can just go random values. As you can see. And then you've got quantization. But you can just, you know, you can just leave that as zero. Obviously you've got the sync at the side. If you select like um, half beat, you will get different kind of sound. As you can see, that's what I'm getting right now, different kind of sound. Now we can even click on two step on it. And if we go back to Emoto Pan, and let's say we select on the side here, um, on the actual Emoto Pan, okay. So this is where it was the main Oto Pan over here. Okay, so we select OK. Now we've got the steps, so you can kill it change it to what you've actually set it and then you can play around with the shape that's a mess like a saw rectangular what I would advise is leaving that just right at the beginning for I had set it set in the square and then taking the steps up okay obviously you want to leave it smooth you don't want it to be jagged and then what you can do is you can mess about with the um, so if you click on if you click on advance it gives you loads of different other settings like normalizations it gives you harmonics so you can actually change the harmony but because we're not using any melody here it's going to stay the same you can change the face you got skew half so you can and then you got full skew it's pretty cool because if you see this when I um, put the full skew on watch what happens over here as you can see over here this really changes so if if I change this full skew over here and I change it let's say down Watch how the, the um, hi hat panning changes. So, this will really help you kind of match it with the beat. And obviously, we're using a suitcase. Once you click on it, it reverts everything. And then you can set your steps up again. Obviously, and then you can set your length at the side to like a half kind of thing or just one check that out got a really cool kind of effect obviously without the effect check out how this would actually sound without any effect so if we take the effects off pretty plain hi-hats add the M auto pan on you know does his job really well kind of get like a little feedback here, it's a really nice kind of effect if you if you look at the hi-hats here you can kind of see what you're getting so if we turn it off it's all the same just you know everything at the same level put it on we're kind of getting a little bit more in the right than we are on the left as you can see and there's a lot of different cool effects you can do with this Obviously, because we changed this to half four, you can change it to like one out of eight or sixteen. But you know, we're just going to keep it at like one eight because that's what that's what we're using. Sorry. <laughs> um, one four is pretty cool. 
half kind of cool effect you know you got the LFO override as well so you can like pan it can you kind of feel that panning like effect like it's pretty cool you got pan law so you know do you want to like change the um, you know what's the maximum law of it panning is it going to pan maximum plus 12 uh, decibels or it's not going to pan at all we're going to take it away it's just going to stay in the middle now so you just want to right click on that and leave that at plus 6 don't want to mess about with that and obviously you've got different kind of effects so you can add like a triplet kind of sound pretty cool hi-hat effect dotted kind of effect which is pretty cool obviously you want to make sure you get that in um, you know you get that in the right kind of sync because if you don't sync it well with your beat it will sound like crap as you can see Really simple, so I can show you how these hi hats change the melody. And obviously, when we take that pan off, watch the melody change. And now we put the, the pan on. And obviously, on top of that pan, you can kind of add like a stereo shaper. But that will actually mess up your pan, so it's kind of not a good idea to add a stereo shaper on there. What I would do is I would add something like an EQ and then change the hi hats to meet my needs. So I would actually do something like this. Obviously, it would help if the kick was in a different channel than the hi hats. Because obviously I was taking a changing a kick um, parametric EQ. You can add a bit of reverb, a tiny dot of reverb, and obviously that's how you can add different like panning effects using this awesome M Auto Pan, free to download, very cool to use as you can see, and you know you can do different things with this. You can kind of just as you can see when you go on the advanced. You can kind of click on like different presets and stuff, create your own presets. Um, really cool, cool plugin. And you can kind of see, kind of play with the play with the um, panning. But I, I just like the way it is, like this. Obviously, you can play with different like plugins at the side. Obviously, you want to change this to so it matches the beat. And there's quite loads of them going down, like loads, loads different ones. That's pretty cool effect. Really like this one as well. Some really cool presets. Definitely worth downloading for free. Wow. So this is one way you can actually spice up your hi-hats. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Path Beats giving you, you know, some hints and tips on music productions. Hope you guys download this uh, free M Auto Pan plugin. The links are below. And yeah, see you guys soon. This is Producers Buzz giving you that juice. You know how we do it. So yeah, let the let the sound do the talking. You know how it is. Peace out. Right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that, you know. This is how you can use these hi-hats in, you know,
sorry, hi hats. This is how you can use the M auto pan in hi hats. Now you can use the same technique for melodies, for different kind of uh, perk sounds, and you can use it in very various different ways. But I find that it works really well with the hi hats. It's got a lot of different settings, a lot of different features, as you guys have seen. So it's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. This is Bad Music Production. If you haven't already checked me out on Instagram, Path Beats, link is below. And uh, far, well, apart from that, um, hope you guys have a nice evening or day or afternoon or whatever it is where you're watching it right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope I see you guys soon. Subscribe to my channel. Got a lot more great reviews, plugins, downloads, whatever you name it. I got it. You know how we do it, Bad Music Production, baby.